Hello and welcome to Creative by Nature. My name is Donna. I'm taking part in the outdoor DIY and decor challenge hosted by Christina at the DIY Mummy. Her channel link in the playlist will be down in the video description. Okay, so I want to dress up around our front door and as you can see I have somewhat of a blank slate. Plants don't grow very well here, so I'm going to add some new DIYs as well as some faux foliage and florals. For my first project, I have this old coffee tin and I am going to give it a coat of brown craft paint. Once you have the desired coverage, let it dry. I have this twig fencing that I purchased from the dollar store and I am going to unwind enough of it to wrap around the tin can. Make sure you bend down any sharp wires so you don't get cut. Once you have the desired length, you can generously apply some hot glue to the tin and start to attach the twig fencing. An alternative would be to glue some branches onto the tin. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to join my community by tapping on the subscribe button and tap the bell to keep up to date with everything I have to share. Once you get to the end, you may need to remove some of the excess branches. Set those ones aside. Tuck the sharp wires underneath again so you don't get a cut. Using those extra few branches that were loose, I'm just gonna go and add those few pieces into some of the spaces that expose the tin. Now for a little extra touch, I'm going to add some jute twine that'll help hold the branches into place and as well as cover up that wire and it just gives it a nice decorative touch. I'm going to wrap some around the top and the bottom part of my tin. I have had this rock outside for a while now and I thought I would freshen it up. I'm going to be using my Arteza Outdoor Acrylic Paints. I'll have the link for you down in my video description if you are interested in some. I'm just going to use some brown again and I am going to go over the lettering that I already have in place. I'm 
going to add a touch of a decorative element. You can freehand it, use a pencil, or you could use some permanent ink and stamp your image onto the rock. use some yellow, some peach, and a white to fill in my flower. Just a little tip, wet your paintbrush first as the rocks are very porous and absorbs quite a bit of the moisture from the paint. This will just help for the paints to go on smoothly onto the rock. Next DIY, I have this piece of driftwood from the beach and a selection of rocks. I'm just going to pick out some smaller stones and set them aside. I'm going to be using some Gorilla hot glue sticks to adhere the stones to the wood. So here's my selection of stones and I'm going to just start to lay them out in a floral pattern. This is inspired by something that I had seen on Pinterest and I absolutely loved it. I'm going to add a branch and some rocks to act as my leaves. Once you have your desired pattern, you can use your hot glue to adhere the stones to the wood. Just for an added decorative touch, I'm going to add some jute twine just around the base of my wood. All right, now it's time to decorate. I'm going to add these faux ferns to this other tin planter that I had made last year and I will link the video for that down below in the description. And here's all the other elements that I'm going to add. I've got some faux foliage and flowers from Dollar Tree in my twig can planter, some succulents, some other faux florals and my flower rock art. And here is my welcome sign on the rock. I'm going to add that to the bench. Some other elements is this cute little gnome, as well as some ceramic mushrooms and some rocks. As you can see, I've left some dirt in this planter and I am going to just add my decorative elements into the dirt. So I'm going to add this fern. And 
And now I'm going to add my rock flower art and I'm going to stick that into the soil as well. I'm going to go ahead and add my ceramic mushrooms and my gnome. Add some stones to the top of the dirt just to hide it just to give it a bit more of a finished look. Just going to add a bundle of these full florals and the ferns to this pot here. The flowers and greenery these days sure have come a long way and it's nice to be able to use them in place of real plants, especially if things don't survive in a certain spot. I want to say a big thank you to Christina and my fellow creators and I want to thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.